Takazani, good day everyone. Please welcome back. This is Hugo Mahaba again. If you are new, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to subscribe and like my page and hit the notification bell as well. And please share this video with your loved ones. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for everything. Okay. Today I have uh, I want to talk about the 12 dreams which you will normally have if your ancestors are not happy. So if you, you, you start experiencing some of the 12 dreams that I'm going to talk about, you need to know that your ancestors are not happy about something. They might be trying to talk to you about something. They might have told you not to do this, not to do that, but you never, but you keep on doing those things. Or they told you, please do this and that, but you don't do it at all. You keep on ignoring them. And therefore they're showing you through the dreams that we will punish you or we are angry or we will turn our backs on you. Okay. Um, I want you to know that in most cases uh, when they are, they are angry, sometimes they won't even come in the dreams. You won't dream about them at all or you won't dream at all. Okay. Uh, but you know what, guys? I want you to, to, to understand that these are the dreams which shows that the ancestors are not happy. Yes, you might experience some of these dreams, not because your ancestors are not happy, but because, uh, you know, there are some people, Abatakati, there's something that they're doing to you, and then you start, you know, experiencing some of these things. But if you know that you are spiritually cleansed, your home is protected, uh, which is, you know, cannot get through to you, and then you need to know that, uh, you need to check around uh, what things, what are those things that I didn't do, uh, is my ancestors happy and accept these dreams tomorrow we'll talk about some other things some signs and then if you like you're experiencing the following dreams, dreams that i'm going to try, tell you about and then you are experiencing some other things there are some signs that shows you that the ancestors are not happy please make sure that you 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 quickly make sure that you know what do they want so that you fix things with them okay okay uh the first one i wanted to know that sometimes you won't dream at all they, will, they won't come to you at all. Okay, the first dream is that you'll start experiencing nightmares. Okay, you always have those dreams where people are always chasing you. Sometimes you're even chased by ghosts, by zombies, all those things. All, you know, by, you know, black shadows, all those things. They're showing you that we are not happy at all. Okay, number two. <laughs> you dream of your ancestors or a deceased loved one coming to you but they don't talk to you they just stay at you you need to be worried they come to you they just look at you but they don't talk to you at all they, ju they, they just stay at you you can't even read their emotions you don't know whether they're happy or they're angry they don't say anything please you need to start being worried about that immediately when you wake up in the morning go to your appeasement space talk to them and also light a white candle and pray promise them whatever do something for them so that at least they won't be angry at you and find out what is it that they want so that you fix it with them. Okay, number three, you, do, you dream of being chased by dogs, by lions, leopards, snakes, and some other wild animals. Then you need to know that my ancestors are very, very angry, especially the, the wild dogs. If you see yourself being chased by those dogs, you know, big dogs, you know, yeah, those uh, I don't know how to call them the bofa ones. <laughs> we call them uh, <laughs> the bofa. Yeah, those ones. Yeah, those dogs. You know, uh, usually they are like brown in color, not dark brown, sort of fawn, brownish, something like that. And you know, yeah, you see those dogs. You see them from far, and they will always try to chase you. Sometimes even cows. Cows are very much. Yeah, it's also one of the one one of the animals which will always chase you. You know that my ancestors are not very very happy about me so next time i'm going to differentiate on uh like so that if you dream of being chased by animals it can be wild animals it can be domestic animals which animal represent a uh, which ancestors okay which animal will represent the manguni which one will represent the mandao so that you know that oh it's mandao they're not happy about something immediately will know what you didn't do for them and you'll okay maybe it's dogs you'll know that ah it's the manguni they're not happy about something We'll, I'll do a, a video about that one as well soon. Okay, um, number four, you dream of drowning. Yeah, you always, now you start having all these dreams, you, you always see yourself drowning, drowning, drowning. You need to know they're not happy at all. Number six or number five, 
you dream of heavy rain pouring down inside your house inside your home sometimes you are you're outside you're somewhere you're working somewhere and then it's that raining and it's only raining on the area where you are at in, in other areas there's no rain it's only raining down at you pouring very, very heavily down at you and you know it, it's that type of rain which is scary you know you are scared you feel like you know what this rain is gonna take me it's gonna take me away or it it, it, it will even kill me yes you need to know that the ancestors are not happy about something number six you dream of being you dream of being on top of a roof you know you don't know how you know you ended up there it's a very uh, long building you're on top of the roof you want to to come down but there's there's no way there's no way that you can come down you're scared you think that you're gonna fall you don't know how you got up there yeah you need to know that my ancestors they have a complaint they have a complaint i'm not uh like i'm not i'm, I'm not i'm not I'm, I'm not attending to their needs i'm ignoring them i'm neglecting them then you need to do something okay number seven you dream of falling into a pit or into a hole yes those type of dreams they're showing you that you know what something will happen to you we will make sure we will punish you and remember when they punish you uh sometimes they can you know uh in in most cases they'll make sure that they turn their back on you they don't protect you anymore they take the blessings from you and therefore no one is protecting you it means that your enemies your enemies have access to you there's no way to fight your enemy spiritually anymore. Remember, when you can't fight them spiritually, you fight them physically using the herbs, using the washer, using salt, using water, using everything that, uh, you know, can be done, can be touched physically. But one another they will fight your enemies spiritually. And remember, when they fight your enemies, it's not only people who practice witchcraft. They also fight things like entities. They also fight things like demons. They also fight uh, things like roaming spirits who are there to, ha to harm other people. So your ancestors, they make sure that they, pr they protect you from all those things. Okay, number 11. Uh, in the dream, you see yourself, you see your car being involved in a fatal accident and it can't even be, be fixed. This dream comes over and over and over again. If you don't take action immediately, your car will happen to that fatal accident that thing that they showed you in the dream it will happen for real like i said some of the dream uh, i wanted to you know make sure that you know your ancestors very well you know you need to know when they are happy you need to know when they are they are angry you know you need to know when a dream is about your ancestors be angry and you need to know when a dream is about your enemies attacking you you need to know about those things okay so um spirituality having a spiritual calling is only it's not only about you know uh you know going to Tuasa, you know consulting people and those things it's not only about that it's more about you know understanding your ancestors it's more about understanding spirituality and therefore this is not only about people who have uh, the spiritual gift this is about everyone because we all have ancestors we all have the past loved ones so when your, your, your great-grandmother from your father's side is not happy, you need to know that, oh, she's not happy at all. So I need to do something. I need to make her happy. Otherwise, she's going to punish me. And I don't want to be punished. I don't want to lose some of the things that she gave to me. No, I don't want that. Okay, number 12. You see yourself trying to drive your car, but something is wrong with it. You keep you try to drive, but it's not drivable. You know, you don't understand. You're in your car, but you know, when you know, it's like you, you, you're trying to ride a bicycle, but it's not a bicycle, it's a car. This dream will come over and over and over again. Okay, and then under this one, I'm gonna put the dream where you always uh you start seeing um, you know, your car it just disappears out of nowhere. You park it there. Or maybe you know that your car, it's maybe in the garage or, you know, it has parked somewhere. Suddenly, your car just disappears and you want to use it. It just disappears. Something's going to happen. Okay. Um, hey, guys. Okay. I'm sorry. I said uh, 11 and 12 and then now I'm going back because I wrote here and then 
unfortunately i didn't follow the way that i wrote it okay on number eight dream number eight okay oh those ones i did yes it's fine no i'm i'm, I'm on the right track okay okay dream number eight you dream of falling or about to fall from a valley or from a hill you're walking you're going somewhere suddenly uh you know uh the the, the road changes suddenly there's a valley there suddenly there's a hill there suddenly you know what you want you want to to go to the other side of the road but but you you can't you know there's suddenly a valley there and you can't cross it you can see that you know what if i try i'm going to fall in if i fall i'm going to die and then dream number nine you see yourself embarking on a journey but the transport you are supposed to use always leaves you you are in a journey to, to today you dream of uh, about yourself you're having your bags you're going somewhere or maybe you're going home but the transport that you're supposed to use it just leaves you behind there's no transport you know um you're stressed you're depressed you're frustrated the following day you have the same dream again it, it keep on coming it keep on coming be careful and then dream number 10 you see a heavy strong wind around your home and it breaks your windows, furniture, and some roofs, and some other parts of the of, of your house. And this dream, it keeps on coming over and over and over again. So next time, I'm going to do another video where I'll talk about the very same dream the way they are. And then I'm going to explain to you that when you dream of this, when you see this type of dream, you need to see that this is the Abalusi. When you dream about this type of dream, you need to see that to know that this is the Manguni, the angry. I'll make a video like that. Okay, I'm going back to number 12. I mean number 11 because I made some mistakes. Dream number number 11, you see your car being involved in a fatal car accident and, you ca and it can be fixed. I spoke about it. And then dream number 12, you see yourself trying to drive your car, but something is wrong with it. You're in a car, but suddenly the car is like a bicycle. It's not drivable. Something is wrong with it. Yes. Okay, guys. These are the 12 dreams that you will usually have, which will show you that your ancestors are not happy at all. Immediately, when you wake up, please make sure. Or, or, or even if you wake up from the dream, maybe still late at night, immediately light your white candle, even in your bedroom, and try to talk to them. Even if you don't use knife, even if you don't use paper or anything, try to talk to them and do wait for the right time to talk to them. And yeah, you know what? Humble yourself before them and you will see. They will forgive you and the blessings will come to you and the protection will come to you and they will continue fighting your battles. Thank you so much, guys. Tomorrow we'll have another video where we'll talk about dreams. I mean, not dreams, signs science in your body the things that will happen in your body which will show you that ah my ancestors they're not happy at all thank you so much enjoy your day or your evening thank you so much and many many blessings to gosa